How you doing guys? Uh, this is a this video is a following up video about the fix that I fixed this car. It's been it's been a, a, a quite some time. This video should have been uploaded a long time ago, but I've been kind of busy. Um, but I fixed that problem probably about seven or eight months ago. Okay, what happened with this car was, you know, the the window was not working. This window right here was not working and the lock and unlock button was not working and um you know a lot of things was, was going on like if i was driving and i turn the signal on like a left signal it would flash and the dash says door open which is you know the door was not open but i had a ground wire that i was disconnected going through the door from uh, from the car so what happened was the end of the wire the one that plugs into the plug I can't find the end nowhere I went to Arizona or Raleigh a lot of places and I can't find it um, so I'm gonna tell you guys exactly where is it at. it's right here it's a black wire you probably can't really see it but it's plugged in into here I fixed it up already I'm gonna tell you guys what I I just took this off to show you guys. I'm gonna put it back. No, oh, guys, what do we about this? Okay. So what I did is I went to the junkyard. Okay, the wire is coming through here. Is the ground wire coming through here and to over here? What you had to do is, oh, if you can see it over here, it's a little dark. Is it? Just screw over here. I forgot one millimeter. Is it? I think it's like uh, eight millimeter. You take this off, and you're gonna see these wires. The wires coming through here and through here. And all the way through the door so and what I did is I took the door off to make it easier for me to fix it because I cannot fix it with the, door, with the door still on the car so what I did is I took the door out I took this screw and I take and I guess left the door up I believe so I don't know if I took any more screws it's been a minute since I did it but uh i think was this screw right here and this one and this one then i took it off you lift the door up then it's gonna come right up and you disconnect that part right there don't forget to not disconnect it okay so i can't find the end of the wire so what i did is i went to the jank car the jank car had this same thing is this one right here same thing is the end of it so what I did is you see the black wire is missing is missing the it's gonna go this way so it's missing right here you can see it right there is missing so what I did I take the end of this one and I cut you know uh, I cut the wire probably about from right here so you can make enough space and I pushed it in from here all the way to the other side and I connected to the other one I cut the other one off and I connect and I uh, I connected to the other one you know I use a cramp and um, for the wire to hold the wire and stuff like that I'm gonna show you exactly what I did okay now I don't have no more problem with the vehicle you could see right now um i got almost 194,000 with this vehicle and uh, you know i fixed a lot of things in it my own self um uh, but it's been it's been you know it's been i love how this car drives you know okay so now i could uh, see the windows is working right now with no problem
lock and unlock button is working. Signal is working with no problem. That light right there is for the emergency brake because it's on right now. And that problem was fixed. I searched a lot of places to try to find that problem. It took me probably at least two or three weeks to find exactly where is that wire, you know, what is that problem? What kind of problem caused that problem? I took it to, um, you know, uh, one of the shop and I explained to them what happened to the vehicle and they was gonna take uh, the regulator to the window and test it out. So, you know, I didn't feel comfortable to leave it there. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna do it myself instead of, instead of you know, putting my car there for two or three days and, you know, uh, yeah, you know, pay the big bill and stuff like that. Pay a big bill on it. I say, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna save some money and go to the, and, and check it myself. So I checked it, I find the problem, fix the problem. And that's the end of it. Uh, and I'm gonna have more videos coming up about this car. What I, you know, I, I fix a lot of more things in, into this car and I'm, I'm gonna do in depth video about the stuff that I fix in this car. So when you, if you buy an XC90 like this car, you check the stuff that um, that I fixed. You never know, you know, they might go wrong. Uh, but uh, shout out to Robert DIY guy. You know, he's the man about, about Volvos. But I'm gonna give you guys my experience about it and what I went through to fix all that kind of stuff. and. And what did I did when I bought this car? I used these to connect the wires. There's a connection thing to connect the wire and um, so that way they don't touch anything else. And they make good connection. That's what I use for the two wires to connect them. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video.